today we are going to continue with the previous chapter of geography that is chapter number 3 exogenetic processes part 1 in the previous session we have studied about weathering types of weathering and mechanical weathering in today's session we are going to study about chemical weathering biological weathering mass movement and erosion now let us study about chemical weathering what is chemical weathering the disintegration of rocks caused by chemical reactions chiefly with water and substances dissolved in it is called chemical weathering now let us see an experiment on chalk and on screws or nail this activity will help us to understand how chemical weathering takes place first of all we'll see the experiment on chalks now here why chalks are used because chalk is made up of a type of limestone let us start with the experiment take a glass of water put some pieces of chalks in it leave it for one day observe what happens on the next day observe what has happened to it and answer the following questions here did the color of the water change yes the color of the water has changed to white what happened to the chalk the pieces of chalk are dissolved in water now we will see the second experiment that is experiment on screws for this you require a piece of wet cloth and few screws or iron nails wrap a few iron nails in a wet cloth and leave it for 2 days observe what happens and answer the following questions are there any stains on the piece of the wet cloth yes you will observe some stains what color are the stains of the stains are reddish in color what will be the reason for the stains as the cloth is wet reddish brown rust have formed on the iron nails wrapped in it and because of that the stains have developed on the cloth geographical explanation from both the above experiments we come to know that water plays an important role in chemical weathering rock is a mixture of many minerals and water is a universal solvent many things get easily dissolved in water in areas that receive heavy rainfall chemical weathering takes place by five ways carbonation solution oxidation hydrolysis and hydration but in this chapter we will study the first three ways by which chemical weathering takes place let us study about carbonation in details carbonation is the chemical reaction of carbon dioxide with water to form carbonic acid in nature the rain water that travels through the atmosphere before reaching the ground carbon dioxide in the air get mixed with the water and dilute carbonic acid gets formed this carbonic acid react with the minerals in the rocks materials like limestone get easily dissolved in such acids and leads to weathering of rocks the chemical reaction for carbonation is water less carbon dioxide gives carbonic acid that is h2o less co2 gives h2co3 the second type of chemical weathering is solution in solution weathering certain minerals like calcite in limestone rock get dissolved by acidic solution when the water begins to evaporate it releases the calcite which forms chemically precipitated limestone for example 
at Vadgao Darya in Ahmednagar district, limestone get precipitated chemically. That is, it undergoes chemical weathering again as it is shown in this picture below. Similarly, because of solution, alkalis in the rocks dissolve and make them brittle. The next type by which chemical weathering takes place is oxidation. Oxidation occurs in rocks which have iron present in them. The iron in the rock comes in contact with water and chemical reaction takes place between iron and oxygen. Hence, a reddish colored layer form on the rocks. This is called the rust. This similar process we have observed in the activity above. This process occurs in rocks in areas of high rainfall. In our daily life also, many chemical reactions takes place like moistening of table salt in rainy season and apple slices turning brown. Apart from these three processes of chemical weathering, two more processes like hydration and hydrolysis are there which are not mentioned in the book. Now we will study about the third type of weathering that is biological weathering. Biological weathering is a type of weathering brought about by various activities of living organisms. It is mainly caused by plants and animals and human activities. Let us see how biological weathering is caused by plants. Biological weathering by plants. Many of you might have visited a fort. You might have seen trees growing on their minarets. You also must have seen pieces of rocks getting separated because of the roots of the trees. As you can see it in this picture, the roots of the trees grow bigger and create tension in the rocks and start breaking them. Now we will see biological weathering by animals. We have seen ants making ant cells, rats, mice, rabbits and other worms and insects making burrows in the ground. Because of all these activities of the animals, weathering of rock occurs. Biological weathering by algae, moss and lichen. Algae, moss, lichen and other flora grow on the rocks. They produce weak acids on the rocks, leading to the weathering of the rocks. Now we will study about mass movement. First of all, we will see what is mass movement. The process of moving down of weathered particles due to gravity alone is called mass movement. Mass movement is also known as mass wasting. In mass movement, the weathered rock material start moving along the slopes due to gravity and accumulate near the foothills on the gentler slopes and this process has been happening for years. The weathered particles of rock form a conical shaped heap at the foothills as it is shown here in this picture. When these weathered particles move down due to gravity alone, the process is called mass movement. Mass movement occurs by two ways or types. First rapid mass movement, second slower mass movement. Let us study about rapid mass movement. Rapid mass movement take place on steeper slopes. Rock falls, landslides and land subsidence are rapid mass movement. You can see here the pictures of rock fall, landslide and land subsidence. These events are more in the regions having humid climates and steeper slopes. Their effects are very destructive. A thick layer of weathered material forms on the slope. When it rains, in such areas, the rainwater penetrates the weathered rock material and their weight increases. The weathered material move very rapidly and come down the slope. Example, the mudslide at Malim village of Pune district. Sometimes, the weathered material do not move downward but sink in Setu means sink where they are as shown in the figure. This is called slumping. 
such rapid mass movement may also occur because of earthquake now we will study about slower mass movement it occurs in areas with dry climate and gentler slopes soil creeping is a common phenomena in such areas in periglacial region that is areas adjacent to a glacier along the slopes small layers of soil accumulate because of the movement of soil this is called soil fluxion you can see it in the picture now we will study the last topic of the lesson that is erosion erosion is the process by which the surface of the earth is worn away like weathering and mass movement erosion is also an external process erosion occurs through various agents like wind running water glacier sea water and ground water we will study the agents of erosion and the landforms produced by them in the next lesson